Pro Football Weekly is looking at the most overrated and underrated players at each position. Right now we're talking O-line. We've lumped them all together and here are the overrated guys. We start with Lions left tackle Jeff Back as well. A lot of fans in Detroit may criticize him often. The coaches keep putting him in there as a left tackle, an important position. That's why we have him overrated. You know, this Lions roster keeps getting better, but that's one spot they haven't drafted to improve. They haven't looked in free agency. They keep putting Backus out there, say he's not a left guard. I think he gets a bit of a bad rap. I think he's actually a pretty solid player, started over 150 straight games, but not a dominant left tackle in an age when a lot of teams look for that elite athletic player at that position. And we saw him get beat on the play that Matthew Stafford got hurt yeah. last year. That is not going to help his cause with Lions fans. Next up is Bryant McKinney from the Vikings, a longtime left tackle. Maybe was one of the elite guys at one time, not anymore. Physically imposing, but it never seems to inflict that will on his opponents. There are flashes of brilliance. You see Adrian Peterson run free. You see a, a pass rusher get stoned, but it's not consistent game to game, yeah. play to play. I don't think McKinney's ever fully put all, all of his marbles on the table and played to that level. Especially now, he's kind of on his last legs. We'd yeah. be surprised to see that happen now. Next up is Jason Smith from the Rams. He was the second overall pick. They have him on the right side at right tackle. That's not where you draft a second overall pick. Yeah, there's still time to turn it around, but it says a lot that Roger Saffold was a left tackle last year. Yeah. The coaches didn't appear to have a lot of faith in Smith. and He's somebody to keep an eye on, could improve, but right now probably a little overrated. Yeah, and overrated and overdrafted, it looks yeah. like. Next up is Andre Girard, the center from the Cowboys. He was a pro bowler last year, probably working off of name recognition at this I, point. I watched the film on this guy last year. I just didn't see it. Poor snapping, questionable decision making with the line calls, wasn't dominant as a run blocker. Ever since Tony Sperano left, I think his game has gone downhill a little bit. Yeah, but still continues to get those pro bowls. Yeah. It just shows you, you need to have reputation. the name records. Yeah, reputation. You get there once, you just keep going. Those are the most overrated offensive linemen in the league. What do you think? Have we gotten it right? Have we gotten it wrong? Let us know. Go to ProFootballWeekly.com.